We on? We're on. Hey, guys. Roll him. Huh? Roll him. Roll what? What am I rolling? Come on. Oh, okay. So, we are making my brother a Pirates of the Caribbean riverboard. So this is what he's going to have. It's going to sit in here like this. And then, in these sections, we're cutting this wood. This is called monkey pod for all of you who ask me in the comments. It's monkey pod. It looks like a bunch of wormholes to me. It's cool though. So that's going to get cut and go and sitting in each, each one of these corners here. And we're going to see how that goes. So let's try to cut this thing. Oh, good. Would now be the right time to tell Daryl I don't think he's worth all this? <laughs> what do you got to say to Daryl? I don't think that you're worth all this trouble right now, little man. Oh, that's not nice. I know. He's worth it. He's yeah. your brother. I'm gonna make him pay for this. What you think? Yay or nay? What do you think, Daryl? 
Yay or nay? Go. All right, so today we're gonna pour, we mixed the uh, Skyline Blue, I think it is. And I've got to pour a base so that we can elevate the wood and the pirate up off of the bottom. So we're gonna pour a base. So, we have our awesome Let's Resin leveling board. Comes with a little level on there, which I checked. Well, I had it turned the other way, sorry. That way's good. And this way, I just gotta adjust this leg just a little bit. And that's good. So, we'll set our project on here. So what we're gonna do now, I've already cleaned all this out. We're gonna mix some mud. Uh, we're gonna mix some deep pour. And we're gonna pour just a, a little bit in there because we're gonna add some sharks in here. So we have sharks swimming in, the, it'll almost look like a 3D thing. There's stickers, so they'll be stuck on there and have two up here and two down there. And then I kind of asked my brother what his favorite colors were. So on top of this, which I think will look good, is we're going to pour this red. And that'll kind of match his bandana a little bit and it'll pop. I think that'll look good. So let's get busy and mix up some resin. All right, just to go over this because this wood has this wood has so many crevices and nooks that run all the way through it. What I had to do is take some packing tape and I dammed it up. <laughs> and you won't be able to see this inside the resin. And we have this small hole here. So I had to dam that up because we don't want that once we pour that this red, we don't want it to bleed into our all of our uh, clear. So that's where we're at. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go mix up some resin. So, while Michelle's over there mixing up how many ounces? 24. 24 ounces. We've got this thing all secured. I had to clamp all these boards down. Now I did hot glue all this stuff down. But we've hot glued stuff before and it, it popped up. So we're gonna, I've got all the boards clamped. I don't have the pirate clamp though. I'm hoping that's not gonna be a problem. Guess we'll find out. So I know my brother's gonna see this. Uh, Daryl, I just wanna tell you I love you. I know you and I have had some problems in the past and uh, we're gonna make it all right. So now we're gonna pour some resin.
All right, so now all we have to do is babysit. We're gonna let that dry. I'm gonna add my sharks. And once that's dry, we should be able to take all these forms off, right? Yeah. Yep. So once that's all dry, we'll take all these clamps off and uh, check for bubbles. Go from there. Wow! Was that too much? Yes. Okay. We're going to take off some forms and some clamps. <gasps> Never too much, huh? Never. It's still really soft, but... You've lived with me for how long? A couple years? A couple days. You should be used to me by now. Nice. We're going to put some stickers on. All right, wonderful people. So, Michelle's not in here, so I get to say and do whatever I want. This is the project that, it, that we came up with for my brother. So I mix six ounces of Let's Resin with this red, and we're gonna see how much we're gonna actually need. So let's start.
So that wood took 10 ounces of resin, which she'll link all this below. Color we used, it was called uh, Unicorn Art Shortcake. How they came up with shortcake for that red, I got no idea, but they did. And that's what it, uh, where am I at? That's what it looked like right there. I think once this is done and that red's cured and all sanded and I think it's gonna look good together. Hopefully my brother will appreciate this. Daryl, it's a lot of work, but I love him. He's my brother. Resin, we might need a new mold. Oh. That's a big one. Yeah, it is. All right. So this is going to prove to be one of them projects that want to test my patience. We had all this filled in and now it's just gone. So now what I have to do is clean this board up. I've got to take it back in, mix up some more red resin and fill in all these gaps. I just don't understand it sometimes, but hey, it's what we do. So I planed it down. I got it all about the same level. I did have an issue on the back that I got to figure out how to fix. So what we did is we poured the bottom. The first part that we poured was this blue that you see down there. We poured it, we had to pour it high enough to keep the pirate off of the bottom. So when I planed it, I wouldn't be hitting the pirate. But over here, yep, look what happened. 
So now I got to figure out what I'm going to do with that. Maybe I'll just cut it down and shorten it up. I'll have to go run it by the boss first. See you guys in a little bit. All right. Sorry if you can't hear me. Let's get this thing going. Okay, so I got her sanded down where I want it. So next step, now I'm gonna take it, blow it out with the air compressor, get all them little cracks cleared out. And we'll hit it with the red resin yet again. Disappointing, but stuff happens. Here we are back again. Let's add some more red. Daryl, I'm just letting you know now that this is not my favorite piece. I'm gonna throw on my respirator and we're gonna get sanding.
today. It's time to finish this board up and be done. This is the back. It's got a thin coat of clear on it. Um, I'm just gonna do another top coat and this is gonna be it for this board. So yeah, I'm just going to spread a couple ounces around the whole thing. I'm just kinda gonna top coat it like I would a coaster, just on a bigger scale. This board I know for you took maybe 20 minutes. But for us, we're talking, I think, at least three weeks now. At least three weeks. There's so much curing time we had to do on this board. I'm just gonna get it close to the edge with my hand and then I will use my little stick because I'm trying not to go over the edges. And I don't want a huge thick coat. This board is already thick as it is from the wood. And the pirate inside was extremely thick, which is why we had to put a, uh, another layer of resin on this one. We do have the sides taped up just in case because I don't want to go back and forth sanding every single side down. So this should be the end. This is uh, the Tabletop Epoxy by Let's Resin. And I will fast forward this for you so you don't have to be bored. The board is done. This is board we made for my brother. Oh, nice and blue, smooth. So that's it. We got the sharks, pirate, and we're gonna get her shipped out. <laughs>